On September 22nd, 2020, Elon Musk and Tesla unveiled the Plaid Model S to the world, and it has some very impressive specs. In this video, I want to discuss the reason why I believe the Plaid Model S is absolutely worth $140,000. I'm Jonathan, and welcome to Cleaner Watt. Currently, if you go to Tesla's website, you can pre-order a Plaid Model S for $139,990 with an estimated delivery sometime in late 2021. This vehicle has some very impressive specs, including a top speed of around 200 miles per hour, a less than nine second quarter mile time, zero to 60 miles per hour in less than two seconds, and over 520 miles of range. Now don't get me wrong, $140,000 is a lot of money, but as you're gonna see in just a minute, as we compare this vehicle to other vehicles in its class, whether they are electric or whether they are internal combustion engine vehicles, you can see that the Plaid Model S is actually quite a good deal at $140,000 when you compare spec by spec and also the performance that you get with the Plaid Model S. In just a minute, I'm going to compare the Plaid Model S to other competitors' models, but before we do that, I think it's important that we step back for just a minute and compare the Model S to previous versions of the Model S. As you can see, in 2012, the Model S P85 was sold for around $95,000, and you can see the specs there, a zero to 60 mile per hour time in around 4.4 seconds, a top speed of around 130 miles per hour, and a quarter mile in around 12.6 seconds. As you can see over the years, the performance Model S specs have improved and the 2016 model with a price of around $135,000 had some impressive specs, but not when you compare those specs to the 2021 Plaid Model S for around the same price. Another amazing thing about the Plaid Model S is the long range, over 520 miles of range on a single charge. And to put this in perspective, in 2016, the P100DL, the Model S P100DL, sold for around $135,000 and that offered around 315 miles of range. When you look at the cost per mile of range for the 2016 Model S performance as compared to the Plaid Model S, you can see how much better of a value the Plaid Model S is because of its long range. As I've talked about in past videos, the reason why I believe Tesla came out with the Plaid Model S was to make sure that they won up the competition, starting with the Porsche Taycan and then of course the Lucid Air as well. As you can see on this chart, when you compare the Plaid Model S to the Lucid Air and the Taycan, you can see that the MSRP is lower, the range is higher, and that gives you a better value when it comes to the cost per mile of range. Another important way to put into perspective the price, the $140,000 price, the Plaid Model S, is to look at the performance specs as compared to other electric vehicles in its class and also other internal combustion engines in its class. As we mentioned earlier, the Porsche Taycan Turbo S has an MSRP of around $185,000. It can go 0 to 60 in 2.6 seconds, has a top speed of 162 miles per hour, and can do a quarter mile in around 10.47 seconds. The $169,000 Lucid Air Dream Edition beats those specs. However, the cheapest of these three vehicles, the Plaid Model S, is going to beat the zero to 60 mile per hour time, top speed, and quarter mile time of these EV competitors. It's also important to note that the Plaid Model S is not going to be just a straight line performance car. It's also going to be very impressive on the track. Tesla has done quite a bit of track testing at the Laguna Seca track, and the Plaid Model S has done very well at that track. According to Tesla, they were able to record a lap time of around one minute and 30 seconds, and that beats the Lucid Air and also the Porsche Taycan Turbo S. So that's how the Tesla Plaid Model S will compare to EV competitors, but now let's take a look at other internal combustion engine competitors and look at the performance differences. The Mercedes AMG S63 sedan has an MSRP north of $150,000. And as you can see, this vehicle is quite quick, going from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 3.5 seconds. The Porsche Panamera Turbo is also right around that same price range and has quite a bit quicker quarter mile time, but it's 0 to 60 and top speed are about the same as a Mercedes. 
Then you have the BMW M8 Grand Coupe Competition, and that vehicle comes in at just over $140,000 and can go zero to 60 in around three seconds and has an impressive 10.7 second quarter mile time. However, once again, the Plaid Model S, which is cheaper than all of the other models here on this chart, once again beats them in the zero to 60 mile per hour time, top speed, and also quarter mile times. Now, so far we've talked about the range comparison and also the performance comparison to show the value of the Plaid Model S, but I think it's important that we also step back for a second and look at a factor that a lot of people don't think about when they think about a performance vehicle, and that's the safety. How safe is the Plaid Model S? You've probably seen this before, but according to the NHTSA, of the top 50 vehicles that they've tested since 2011, the Tesla Model S, 3, and X have the lowest probability of injury of any of these vehicles. According to the NHTSA and also the Tesla blog post about this, the Model S currently has a low probability of injury somewhere around 6.3%. Although we obviously don't have the official numbers for the Plaid Model S because it's not out yet, I have no doubt that it'll fall right in this number or maybe even better with a slight improvement because of the structural battery pack. Another key reason why the Plaid Model S is definitely worth $140,000 is because it's going to be full self-driving capable and it's going to have all the hardware necessary for full self-driving like the rest of Tesla's vehicles. If you've been paying attention to Tesla's full self-driving beta releases, you can clearly see that Tesla's system is very impressive and it's improving rapidly. Tesla is a lot closer to full self-driving than I think a lot of people thought in years past, and I think 2021 very well might be the year that Tesla is able to be feature complete with full self-driving. Elon Musk recently replied to a tweet from Comma AI and said, quote, Tesla full self-driving will work at a safety level well above that of the average driver this year. Of that I am confident. Can't speak for regulators though. When it comes to full autonomy and full self-driving, once Tesla's feature complete and once you're able to actually let go, not pay attention, and the car drives itself, there's gonna be no other performance sedan that you could take to the track, have very impressive track times, has very impressive straight line performance, can also be a long trip car because of its long range and the supercharger network. And on top of that, it can be a family sedan and it can drive itself. When you put that package all together, that's very impressive, and it makes it very clear that the vehicle is worth $140,000. Now, I believe I've already presented a pretty strong case of why the Plaid Model S is worth $140,000, but there's more. Another big reason why I believe the Plaid Model S is worth the money is because of the new battery tech that is going to be found in the Plaid Model S. Elon Musk has confirmed that the Plaid Model S will have the structural battery pack and the new 4680 battery cells. I have no doubt that with these new 4680 battery cells that the Plaid Model S will be capable of repeated runs and repeated launches without performance degradation. When the Porsche Taycan first came out, Porsche targeted their marketing efforts to make it known that their electric vehicle, the Porsche Taycan, was capable of repeated launches and lasting track performance. Porsche's marketing was specifically targeting the Model S because it was a known fact that the Model S could not have repeated launches too many in a row without losing performance. As this article from The Drive pointed out, Quote, in just one lap at the Virginia International Raceway, the Model S P85 goes into reduced power mode in the middle of the single hot lap. Note that this article is from 2016. Now the current Model S has improved quite a bit in this department since 2016, as this car and driver article points out. Previously, when Car and Driver had tested the Tesla Model S with 15 consecutive acceleration runs, they saw a drastic loss of performance after just a couple runs. As they said, quote, it, referring to the Model S, slowed dramatically to a near Chevy Bolt pace, running 0 to 60 mile per hour times that hovered around 6 seconds. 
However, when they tested the 2020 version, they said, quote, the 60 mile per hour times range from 2.7 seconds to 3.8 seconds and the quarter mile passes from 11.3 to 12.9 seconds across all 15 runs. The average time in both metrics dropped by a massive two seconds compared to our previous test. So Tesla has already figured out a way to manage the heat better with their batteries, so the newer Model S's aren't so bad when it comes to repeated performance runs and repeated launches. However, I have no doubt that the new battery tech, the 4680 batteries, will improve upon this even more and will be very impressive. The reason I believe this is because of the tabless design, which is going to be really good at dissipating heat, and they're going to be able to manage heat really well with the battery pack, and also because of the very power dense design with these large cells. Also, another side benefit of these new batteries and new battery tech will be the fact that the Plaid Model S will charge quite a bit faster than the current Model S. The current Model S can charge from a 10% state of charge to an 80% state of charge in around 34 minutes. When you compare this to the 2170 cells found in the Model 3 and the Model Y, you can see that they charge quite a bit faster. There are multiple reasons why the 2170 cells charge faster than the 18650 cells, and some of that has to do with heat management and cooling of the batteries, but some of that also has to do with the amp rating of the batteries as well. As you can see on this chart, the 18650 cells have a amp rating of around 3 amps per cell, the 2170 cells double that, and the 4680 cells have an amp rating of around 36 amps per cell. So really, to put that all very simply, the Plaid Model S battery tech will be quite a bit better and will improve several important factors when it comes to using an electric vehicle. Not only performance, being able to have repeated performance runs, but also being able to charge that vehicle much quicker for trips or even at the track. When you want to really run it hard at the track and waste a lot of the battery, you can really charge it back up quickly and get back on the track. The last reason that I want to cover of why I believe Tesla's Plaid Model S will be worth $140,000 is because, like Tesla's other vehicles, it will be capable of over-the-air software updates. With Tesla's over-the-air software updates, you don't have to worry about missing out on software features over the years because you will always have the latest version of Tesla's software, which will improve the user interface and also add new features over the years. A lot of other companies have picked up on this and they talk about their vehicles also being capable of over-the-air software updates. However, Tesla has the longest and best track record when it comes to actually providing usable, great features and adding new features over the years for their cars, and they have a huge lead when it comes to software. So in conclusion, the Plaid Model S is certainly not a cheap vehicle. But when you compare it to past Tesla Model S vehicles and also the current performance sedans like we did, it becomes clear that it's definitely worth $140,000. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you learned something as well. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, if you click the bell icon, you'll be notified when new videos are published. Also, if you did like the video, please consider clicking that like button because that helps other people find the video as well. Also, I'd like to take a moment to thank the Patreon supporters who support me every month and help make this content possible. A special thank you to my performance supporters and also the other supporters listed on the screen. If you'd like to find out more about the Patreon community that I've set up, I'll put a link in the description below. Thank you so much.